insane. Because what does Max Payne look like? Max Payne looks like y'all were wrong and I was right. And yeah. yeah. And uh, I'm not saying me. I'm saying that that's mar that's how the market treats each right. other. Is right, right. When you get when shorts get underwater, when longs get underwater, the market punishes them to the maximum and forces them to capitulate back the other way. Which is why so many people felt the need to sh to ape hex, and you saw so much ink exit and go to hex. Hmm. Um, which brings me to my next chart. So you apply this to your Paul Sex logic too. I mean, notice how like all of this stuff comes back to it trading logic right right it's just simple once it's been said but until then it, sometimes it's not so simple so this is what ink this is what ink's performance has looked like against hex since the top it's down 76 percent against hex during this period is when i saw the most ink getting swapped for hex mm -hmm. you know not up here where people right. were super bullish ink down here where people have been super bullish hex but so where are we at now? Well, we're at that point where this could flip as support as it had been support two times prior. So, you know, to me, ink seems super under bad. So then, so, all right. So you guys are following, hopefully my trading logic here. Definitely. Well, then, yeah. then let's go look at just strictly by market cap. You could look at by market cap. Like, look at, these are where we're at in terms of which coin is the most expensive so and this is a this is not accounting for oa position i don't that i always ignore the oa i, I trust that actor so hex is in the lead it's almost double the market cap of pulse right now and this was used to be like 300 million used to be less mm -hmm. than half mm -hmm. so that's been a huge that's where that 5x move comes in right well here's here's pulse x it's the third cheapest token so, so this is why I think Paul sex is nice and steady is because it's never been the cheapest and it's never been the most expensive. It finds its place somewhere in the middle until one point in the cycle where it doesn't, where it's mm. just going to be able to take it's a huge run at it because there's such a shortage of supply and there's so much volume buying it up. We're talking mania guys. We're talking end of the cycle, right? Yeah. It's interesting, but I, you know, I, I still am, I'm, I'm fond of hex. I think I have a soft spot for hex overall. I still think Hex could be the big overperformer here, but Inc. is currently the best buy just based on market cap. Mm -hmm. It's only a hundred million dollar market cap. Um, you know, once you get rid of some of the concerns in terms of guys that are minting it and dumping it, um, if you can, like you can, can't always get rid of all concerns, but um, once those guys that are negative externalities on price are consumed by the amount of demand, this thing's going to rocket ship and it's going to try to catch up to the other three. And so that's why I think, you know, ink is the best buy. I mean, if you look at it against any of these other coins and it's, it's down the hardest. It looks, it's really clear on the ink to pulse X chart. You're answering arrow points question that he just asked a moment ago. So this is good. Um, yeah, I would like to see that, that chart. Um, this is what ink, this is what pulse, um, this is what ink has done against pulse X since March 28th down 50%. Hmm. This data was has been coming in for six months, guys, and we've been yeah. covering it on my private group. Like it's just all it's out there. I come on your guys' streams and try to give you guys a fair chance too. Yep, it's not it's all out there, guys. You you can so here that's why I'm giving you the trading logic and the charts to look at so you can make the, these these decisions for yourself. Um, I, the easy way to think about it is like, look, if you're DCing in, always buy the cheapest one because they're all going to move, and eventually the one that was least in favor is going to become most in favor. So mm -hmm. I think the, okay, here's my last sentence on this. I think it would benefit you not to be a profit maximalist. Like don't try to always get the max gain. Cause that's usually how you can get caught off sides, but just kind of hold a nice balanced position of these things and shift maybe percentage of points of, of your bags between them. When things are really, really out of favor, move the thing that's super overbought. So like if anything right now you take hex and you swap it for ink. Because that's that's counter trend. That's doing the opposite of the herd, and you're doing it like at support here, um, right here at this potential support level that's coming in. So yeah. Anyways, yeah. hopefully that yeah. was helpful. It is definitely sure. helpful, and, and you know people need to realize in those short term trades too. Like you know, remember like 
the, the tax that you're going to have on those moves and stuff like that, the capital gains and everything like that. And you don't have to do those things, but I think access brings up a really good point because most people get caught. I mean, the market went the other way. As soon as hex pumped, you saw people dump ink for it, dump pulse for it and everything. And people were chasing that pump from hex when, you know, you would want to be doing the exact opposite of that and be fading some kind of huge move like that. So I think that's really interesting. And well, one final question I just had on the ink is like, you know, we don't have to answer the LP question because that is really difficult. There's too many variables to it about the like pulse, pulse X uh, pools and stuff and what you would do. But with ink, you know, there's a narrative of like, is this just like the cake token and stuff like that? Will people dump it? Like, are people just going to dump it for memes and things like that? Um, but as long as it's bonded to these other tokens, I mean, I think we are going to see it move like you've been talking about. Um, just when it comes to ink, you just have to think about it mechanically. Like, what is what is ink? Ink is ink is is the manifestation of the risk that LP providers take when they go into the risk of impermanent loss that they take. So it's basically tokenizing the risk of impermanent loss. So the greater the risk, the greater the reward. So ink price should rise congruently with the amount of risk being taken at the times when the market cycle is the most bullish because people will be pulling from the farms hmm. to not be subject to impermanent hmm. loss. Right. So it's pretty simple if you really just break it down mechanically. Mm -hmm. That does make sense. Yeah. Whereas right now people aren't going to be pulling as much. They're Shout just out to crypto sloth too. Cause he helped me on helped tap into that whole concept of ink being tokenized risk. Yeah, yeah, makes a lot of Never sense. Never thought about it that way. way. That's cool, though.